Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. In the 2019-2020 season, Michigan was set at the center position with returning big man John Teske. Michigan also had different options off the bench, depending on who the competition was. After Teske, Austin Davis, aka General Custard, emerged as the backup, and against smaller teams, you would see a little bit more Brandon Johns. Castleton was also available, but never had a consistent role, and he ended up leaving for Florida. With Teske graduating and Castleton transferring out of the program, that leaves Austin Davis, Brandon Johns, and top 50 incoming freshman Hunter Dickinson. Feels like Austin Davis has been in the program forever, and he has been. He was in the program during the national title game run. He was in practices with DJ Wilson and Mark Donald for a year, and Mo Wagner for two years. He went from not playing at all in his first three and a half years to becoming a fan favorite who shot almost 70% from the field. He came into the year with total of two games of 10 minutes or more, but this past season alone, he had 16 games playing in double digits. Dissecting it further, 15 of those 16 games, he played 10 to 15 minutes. He comes in the game, wrestles down low, throws his body around, plays extremely hard, utilizes good footwork and touch around the basket. This playing style leads me to believe he will play a similar effective role in 2020 and 2021. There's no issue with the way he plays, but it just takes so much energy to play that physical and that hard for a sustainable amount of time. This is one of the main reasons I have Hunter Dickinson starting at the center spot. At 7'2", 250 pounds, left-handed, he has a nice jump shot, whether spotting up or setting a screen and popping, can keep the floor spread, and the defense can't clog the paint if he spaces out. Has really good vision and passing skills, uses his body really well on the block, plays physical, but can also play finesse. Really high IQ basketball player. Really dangerous in the high-low type of situation, uh, whether he's the rim post or the trail post up top. I know some people are concerned if he'll be ready as a freshman to have that starting role. I honestly don't have that concern. He started for four years at DeMatha in the WCAC, which is the toughest basketball conference in the country. He has also excelled for Team Takeover, one of the top Nike programs in the country. He's played at a very high level for a long time. His athleticism is the only real concern, but at 7'2", he uses his size well to rim protect with decent lateral mobility, especially for how big he is. Brandon Johns Jr. is a wild card here. He'll spend time between the four and the five spot, but I want to see him start creating off the bounce since Juwan has shown he will give that type of freedom to his players, and he definitely has that type of ability. He brings energy, and he can sustain it for a while. Has a smooth jumper and brings a lot of athleticism to the floor. You saw in last year's Oregon game where his presence got Michigan back in the game with a chance to win at the end. And I know he'll be available at the five against smaller and faster teams, but I really would like to see more of him when facing a stretch big that can cause issues for our bigs like Austin Davis, who aren't as quick on their feet. You saw that exploited against Wisconsin at home last year. Michigan will have three viable options available to play down low. And what's nice is that they're all different types of players offering a wide range of skill sets. Can't guard me. 